Well, hello there, everybody. This is Morris from sjoptions.com. That stands for San Jose Options, and also sjadvisor.com. In this video presentation, I want to talk a little bit about higher order Greeks and how they could be very relevant to your option trading. But before I touch upon these higher order Greeks, let's remember the first order Greeks. So on the left side here you see Vega, in the middle we have Delta, we have our price, which isn't actually a Greek, but it's a, obviously the most important element uh, to option trading. And then you have your Theta, which I don't have on the screen. And then most traders are aware of Gamma, which is actually a second order Greek. I want to talk a little about Vega and Delta first. Your Vega position as most option traders know, is the portfolio sensitivity to volatility changes. For example, if you have a positive vega, theoretically, and the volatility rises, then you profit from your vega position. If your vega position is negative and the volatility rises, then theoretically you'll lose from that Vega position. Now, this is where the education stops for most traders. The Vama position and your Vana position, if you look above the Vega and your Veda position, these are option Greeks, which are the higher order Greeks, that filter down, actually produce the output of the Vega. So when we typically manage a portfolio of options, you'll have an output so you can read the vega. But what's behind that vega and how's you know that vega number calculated? Where's it coming from? Okay, so as your volatility changes, your vega is actually going to change depending on what that vama is. Okay, and then as the price moves around your Vanna position is going to affect the Vega. As you pass through time, your Veda position is changing your Vega. So there's three very important higher order Greeks that directly impact what your Vega actually is. So now that you know that, let's think about what that actually means. Well, your Vega position is actually managed by those higher order Greeks. So when you have a portfolio of options and you're trying to manage that portfolio against these volatility shifts by managing your Vega, well, you can't actually do that effectively if you don't know how to use Vama, Vana, and Veda because those are the actual Greeks that are used to manage your Vega. So that's a, a problem that you know I see um, in industry because most option traders are not privy to this information at all and you have there's millions of option traders that are trying to manage their Vega without actually knowing how to do it. So a similar thing is happening with your Delta. So as you go through time, your higher order Greek, the charm, that is shaping your Delta tick by tick. So obviously it's important to understand how to use charm when it can dictate what your Delta is going to change to by the second. Okay. Gamma. Most people are aware of Gamma, which is why I don't understand why the industry is not aware of Vama and Van and things. But your your Gamma, again, it's crucial to understand how to control that, that Gamma because your Delta is changing as the underlying product moves around left and right according to that Gamma position. And then your speed, again, this is going to dictate how consistent your gamma and steady that gamma remains. So 
even a higher order ink. So it's very important. Um, again, they they trickle down, they filter down to calculate the output of your delta. Okay. In the third column over here, I have lambda filtering down the price. And again, it's another higher order Greek where the industry just does not have any um, education or application of how to use it. And it's very important because as your underlying product moves around, your option prices change. And the percentage that they change relative to that percentage change in the underlying product is your lambda position and there's ways to use lambda again in your favor but you have to understand how how it works and how to implement it into your trading another thing I wanted to say about this is that when you're managing your portfolio by your delta most people do most traders purely focus on delta and they try to keep it flat. Um, that is not actually positioning your portfolio f flat or neutral when your delta is zero. Again, you have to do further studies, but your vega actually dictates a large portion of the directionality of that portfolio. And so you have to learn to balance your delta vega, which is called delta vega hedging. There's been academic studies by um, doctors um, with degrees in um, in physics on delta vega hedging and they prove that it reduces risk by 50 percent so delta vega hedging is extremely important uh, we've been teaching that for um, five or six years already the last thing I want to say again when you're managing that portfolio by your first level Greeks, your Vega and your Delta. These are really your surface Greeks. It's very similar to treating a symptom instead of actually treating the problem that's causing the symptom. So what happens is you have an option trader that's managing all this money with options with a lot of leverage and they're trying to manage their delta pretty much most people um, I would say less than one percent of traders actually delta vague hedge so you, you have 99 percent of traders attempting to manage their portfolio on the delta alone which again is just you're managing or treating a symptom but you're not actually going to the root or to the foundation of where that delta is created or your Vega and so you have a serious disadvantage because you're gonna get pushed around by the market you won't be able to control your portfolio you're essentially just reacting to the market instead of proactively managing that account through understanding of those higher order Greeks that can be positioned to dynamically shape your first order Greeks how you want them to. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little discussion on higher order Greeks. Once again, they're extremely important. Doesn't matter if you're trading a $20,000 account or a multi-million dollar account, everything is relative. So your higher order Greeks are used to manage your first order Greeks. And if you're trading options and you're only managing your delta, then you're Again, you're really just treating a symptom when you should be really managing that problem. Once again, this is Morris from sjoptions.com and sjadvisor.com. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next lesson.